Hey everybody, so one of the most common requests I get about my course, my physics course, and my courses in general, is people asking for more practice questions. So each of my lessons has two practice questions, and I go through and I solve them, but that's not really enough for, for a lot of people, especially if uh, you really need to kind of go through and um, really understand the concept in, in more detail, and you need maybe more review. That's not really enough practice questions for a lot of people. Now, one of the things, one of the ways that I try to remedy that is by um, for each each module or each section, I try to list out some possible double AMC questions that you can do that will kind of help you, that will kind of test you on those concepts. And so um, these are not like the the, uh, the full length tests, but these are the, the question packs. So the physics question pack, for example, um, here are some questions from that, right, uh, for each module. Now, that works, but a lot of people, of course, want to save those questions. They don't really want to use those questions in content review. They want to save them for down the road, and I think that makes sense. And so one of the things that I've done, one of the, the methods that I uh, tried to do is I tried other ways of making new practice questions. And I, I got to say, making practice questions is not that easy because uh, a couple of reasons. First of all, you have to come up with a kind of a conceptual situation where uh, the thing will happen, then you got to uh, you got to come up with, uh, obviously, the correct answer, but then you also have to come up with wrong answers that are going to be similar enough or that are going to be likely, right? Because, of course, the MCAT's wrong answers are not just randomly chosen. They're chosen in a way that they, they're similar to, um, or they're answers that you might get if you uh, forgot to divide by 2 or forgot to multiply by 10 or something like that, right? And so um, it's it's not that easy to generate questions that are high quality and that are similar to AAMC's questions. And so that's where ChatGPT comes in, because I had this idea that what if uh, I asked ChatGPT to generate more questions for me? And uh, so what I did was I took the questions that I had already written. Uh, so I took the questions for, for example, each module. So for acceleration, I took my questions and I copied and pasted them. And let me go ahead and do that right now. So I pasted them in there and then I told it to generate more similar questions that are in a similar format, testing me on similar concepts. So let's go ahead and write that. And let's see what it gives us. And so it gives us some pretty good questions. So if we needed to review these uh, concepts a little bit more, these questions would be pretty good. Now, these questions do run into some flaws. Um, so first of all, when the math gets a little bit more complicated or when the equations get a little bit more, more difficult, um, sometimes the math just doesn't work out. So sometimes it'll give you numbers, but the 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 correct answer is not in any of the answer choices. And the, the easiest way that you can tell that is to paste the, the question right back into ChatGPT and ask it to figure out the answer. And it'll actually do the math and it'll tell you that the answer is not, you know, none of these, none of these answer choices are correct. Um, here is the correct answer. And so it's, it's just smart enough to, to be able to do the math, but not smart enough to be able to recognize that when you're generating the question, uh, the, the math has to work out. Um, but it does work out for a lot of these simpler questions. And uh, just just to clarify, I did try try this with uh, GPT four as well, um, and uh, you know it runs into the same problem. So it's not a question of uh, uh, three point five versus four. But this helped me a lot. And so what I did is I went through uh, and I, I uh, went through the questions that ChatGPT generated. I had it generate more questions, and uh, I made sure that the math was correct. And then I can use those questions as additional practice. Now, of course, for you, the, the, the process of actually making sure the math is correct might actually be the practice in and of itself, which is kind of annoying. And so what I did for the physics course is I went through uh, and I added some of these practice questions from ChatGPT to the end of the module. Of course, after double checking the math, making sure that the math uh, was correct. And for some of them, I completely basically rewrote, rewrote the question because it was kind of, um, it wasn't a good question or it was poorly written. Now, we do run into a second problem. Uh, and the second problem is that, of course, if I tell it to generate questions like the ones that I've already written, then almost by definition, it's not going to uh, go beyond the concepts that, that are tested in uh, the practice questions that I've written. And there are some concepts, of course, uh, that might be useful to generate, right? And so here, there's another thing that we can do with ChatGPT. When we copy and paste the, the questions that we've already written, what we can do is we can also tell it to test on more than just those concepts. And the way that I recommend you do that is you use the double AMC's outline. And that's available on uh, my website in resources. It's also available on the double AMC's website, but I've kind of organized it. So I think it's a little bit uh, easier to use on my website. And what you can do is you can copy and paste some of these concepts, right? So for example, you can copy and paste the concepts for energy and motion, right? Up until here. 
And what you can do is you can try and do this again on ChatGPT. Um, and this time you can tell it to, for example, let me show you. Uh, so I copied and pasted this. And you can say, please, and I always say, please, uh, generate more questions uh, about the topics above in a similar format. And let's see what it does. All right, and so what it's done is it's generated questions or it's generating questions. Um, and again, these may or may not be mathematically correct, uh, but they're still interesting and they're still useful. I would say the one weakness of this particular method is that of course the AAMC's outline doesn't necessarily prioritize concepts. So it doesn't tell you which concepts are high yield and which concepts are low yield. So some of these questions might be relatively low yield, but it is an interesting way to test yourself um, and to kind of force yourself to practice concepts uh, based on what the AAMC says they're going to test. And so this is one method that you can use, that you can use ChatGPT for to generate more questions to help you study for your MCAT. And in the future, what I'll be doing is I'll be doing a series where I explain how to solve some of these questions. Because of course, now if you go back to the course, let's go back to the physics course. If you go back to the course, now we've got a bunch of questions that are not solved, right? So I don't tell you how to solve them. Of course, I do put the answers at the end. The answers are at the bottom here, but I don't show you how to solve them. And so what I'll be doing is I'll be doing a series where I go through each question uh, and I show you how to solve it. And I'll be doing the same thing for the other subjects as well. So for uh, the gen chem, the organic, the bio, the biochem, because with those courses, I've also, let's go to, to the bio course, I've also created additional practice questions. And I think especially when it gets to some of the science sections, some of the questions are a little bit simple. Like for example, you take a look at these questions. I, I think this one's fairly, fairly straightforward. There's not really much to talk about there, but some of them are gonna be a little bit more difficult or require a little bit more kind of in-depth thinking. And so again, I'll be going through these practice questions for the YouTube channel and I will be posting them here. And thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you there.